the seventh statement, the cornerstone and the owner of the vineyard. O oh people, the language of the parables the Lord used to speak to us in his blessed Bible is one of the greatest languages that the people of all intellectual levels are capable of understanding. For examples of the owner of the vineyard and the cornerstone are amongst the greatest examples that apply to Christ upon his return, glory be to him, where it is said in Matthew's Bible. There was a man who was a master of a household, who planted a vineyard, set a hedge about it, dug a wine press in it, built a tower, leased it out to farmers, and went into another country. When the season for the fruit drew near, he sent his servants to the farmers to receive his fruit. The farmers took his servants, beat one, killed another, and stoned another. Again, he sent another servants more than the first, and they treated them the same way. But afterwards, he sent his son to them, saying, they will respect my son. But the farmers, when they saw the son, said among themselves, This is the heir. Come, let's kill him and size his inheritance. So they took him and threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. When therefore the Lord of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those farmers? They told him, He will miserably destroy those miserable men and will lease out the vineyard to another farmers who will give him the fruit in its season. Jesus said to them, Did you never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected? The same was made the head of the corner. This was from the Lord. It is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and will be given to nation bringing forth its fruit. He who falls on this stone will be broken to pieces, but on whomever it will fall, it will scatter him as dust. The people rejected this blessed call, so they expelled and killed a number of disciples who represent the servants in the parable whom the landlord kept sending until he sent his beloved son, and they killed him as well. As for the personality of the landlord's son, it's something that shall remain a secret in the time being and we will not disclose it now. For in fact, he is not his biological son, he is his adopted son. O oh people, the owner of the vineyard who came and saw the farmers messed his vineyard up signifies the religion that Jesus left for us. Yet, the men of the church who signified the farmers messed it up according to his great parable. These perpetrators, or farmers, will persecute whoever comes in the name of the Lord to demand Christ's usurped inheritance. However, the father will support his son, just as he supported him in his first return, for he rendered him the cornerstone in the structure of faith. He carries all the secrets, and he discloses some of them, rendering you incapable of coming up with what could match them in terms of their presentation, evidence, and solidity. He compares your incapability to your falling in the stone. As for the stone falling on you, it signifies his resurrection in the time of harvesting and cutting off the heads with his terrifying scythe to avenge his religion that he left for you. This is the same as the stone falling on you and crushing you. And the time of the landlord's son going to the vineyard is the time of dawn with its shining blessed sun that will fall upon you like a thunderbolt and disclose your deceit and what you have done to the Christian nation, to the downtrodden and the oppressed. You have gone so far with your lying because you believed your own lie which says that the Christ already ruled on a wooden cross and that he will not come back again. You also claim that the rain will remain yours, and this rain is the vineyard that you confiscated according to the great parable that the Father mentioned in his book. How impossible is this? He will come 
just as the Father promised to salvage people, and the day of the Lamb's wrath approaching. So, where will you run from his face? Your state on that day will be the same as that depicted by John on the day the Lord comes in his sixth revelation, where he said, And say to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sit on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand?